Today, we are commemorating 53 years to the liberation of Jerusalem, Jerusalem Day. But you should know that Jerusalem Day, the Six-Day War that took place in 1967, the Israel's army did not liberate only Jerusalem and the Temple Mount, but Israel liberated the areas of Judea and Samaria. So today we celebrate the liberation of the heartland of Israel, Judea and Samaria, also known to some as the West Bank. Now many over the years have asked me about the history of the Jewish communities in Judea and Samaria that are also called settlements. And uh, today I have some special news for you. This is David Ha'ivri. I uh, appreciate you watching my videos and I, I greatly appreciate all of the comments that you've been sending in, all of the, the tips and the, the commentary on the content and on the production. The production of these videos is a new project for me. I've been working on this YouTube channel for the past two and a half months, and uh, I think it's going very well, thanks to you. Just over the this past week, the two videos that I've posted together have received 2,000 views, which is really nice. And uh, again, I appreciate all of your comments. So if you are watching this, and if you are enjoying the content that I am posting onto YouTube, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and share the video with your friends on whatever platforms you're using. And please do write a comment in the comment section here below on the YouTube channel. No, no comment is too small or insignificant, so please do comment on the channel. Now getting back to the history of the Jewish communities in Judea, I would like to tell you about a documentary that was made by a woman who was born here in the Shamron, in Elon More, and she grew up in a family of people who were the pioneers of the Jewish communities in Judea and Samaria. Her father, Benny Katzover, was one of the, the first founding members of the Gush Umonim, and she had the opportunity to interview the founding fathers of the settlement movement. The documentary is in Hebrew, but it, it now has subtitles in English, and it is available on a documentary site. It's a, a pay-per-view. It's not free. You can watch the, the four-minute trailer. I'll show a little bit here. A, and uh, it's worthwhile if you want to learn about the history from the mouths of the people who were actually here when it was when it was happening. Uh, Hebron, the Levinger family, the people who first settled in the hotel in Hebron, and uh, the people who settled in Elon More and in Sebastia and Kedumim, people like Benny Katzover and Rabbi Menachem Felix and Avrimi Shvut, and Rabbi Waldman, and uh, the Rabbanit uh, Levinger, she uh, was able to speak with all of these people and hear their own personal accounts on the making of the Jewish settlements in Judea and Samaria when it all began over 40 years ago. And uh, today, uh, this, uh, this is uh, the fact on the ground. There are hundreds of thousands of Israelis who live in the beautiful communities in Judea and Samaria. And uh, of course, as always, I invite you to come and visit here in Israel and in Judea and Samaria to meet the people, to see the beautiful landscape, the, where our fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob walked in the, the Bible. This is the land of the Bible. So I hope that you enjoy this. I will share the link to the documentary in the description below and you can check that out and if you do watch it please come back to this video and tell me in the comment section 